For this design challenge, Edison will represent a communication system that throws down barriers at a railroad crossing. Many of us have seen railroad crossings before where prior to the train approaching the intersection, barriers are lowered to prevent cars from getting into an accident with the train. We all know that the barriers must be lowered before the train arrives at the intersection. Therefore, for this design challenge, one Edison will be placed down the tracks, sensing the arrival of a train, and it will communicate to two other Edisons that a train is coming and that they should lower their barriers to prevent a car from going onto the tracks. This will be the sending Edison and these two will be the receiving Edisons. As you can see, here we have a railroad track set up with Edison identifying an approaching train and sending a signal to two other Edisons with white barriers attached to them. Where these two Edisons are located, there are also four matchbox cars that represent vehicles crossing a railroad intersection. A program should be written that sends a signal from one Edison to the others and communicates to them to put their barriers down and flash their left light. Those barriers should remain down and that left light should continue to flash as long as there is a train in front of the sending Edison. This is how a successful program should work. Here I have a toy matchbox train set and when this train, or any of these trains for that matter, cross paths with this Edison robot right here, it's gonna send a signal to these two to throw their barriers down. And these barriers will remain down as long as there is a train in front of this Edison. So at this point, let me turn on these Edisons. Now you don't need to do this design challenge with three Edisons. You could also do this with two Edisons. And you will notice also when the barriers go down, the lights come on as well to signify a train is coming. So I start that Edison and I start these two. And at this point, there is a communication that's taking place between the Edisons. Train is coming. The train arrives and the barriers go down. And as long as there is a train in front of this Edison here, these barriers will remain down. Once there is no train, well, the barriers then go up. This allows cars to cross the intersection. Train comes through. Train is in front of the sensor, barriers are down. Now, if you have a really long train, well, those barriers are going to stay down for a really long time. They'll continue to stay down. as long as there is a train in front of that sensor. And that is how a successful program should work.